Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will talk about Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is the discrete probability distribution of number of events occurring in a given interval, given the average number of times the event occurs over that time period. So the Poisson distribution follows a curve something like this. And we can see a Poisson distribution when certain conditions are met. An event can occur any number of times during a time period. So it can be zero to infinity, any number of time. There should be no hold on that. Event occur independently or in other words, the occurrence of one event does not affect the occurrence of another event in the same time period. The rate of occurrence is constant. That is the rate does not change based on time. And the probability of an event occurring is proportional to the length of the time period. For example, if a probability of an event occurring in an hour is x, then the probability of same event occurring in two hours should be twice. That means 2x. So these are the few conditions that needs to be met. Then let's see some example of the Poisson distribution. Suppose you are in office and we want to model the number of phone calls you are getting. So let's say you have averaged the number of phone calls from your records and that comes out to be four. Although the average is four calls, but theoretically you can get any number of calls during that time period, right? Because the events are effectively independent. If one person calling you or not calling you does not affect the another person. It is reasonable to assume that the probability of getting a call in first hour is the same as the probability of getting a call in the final hour. So for an event to happen, the probability of the event is this formula. Px is equals to lambda to the power x, where lambda is the occurrence divided by interval or it's mostly mu, which is the mean of the distribution. E to the power minus lambda, where E is the constant divided by x factorial. Let's try to model this distribution and see how it goes. So what we have, we have this formula of the Poisson probability distribution, right? And we have lambda that is four calls per hour. We have lambda is equals to mu, that is lambda is equals to mean. Now E we know, this is the constant value of E is 2.17 and so on. So what is the probability of getting exactly one call in that time period? So we replaced the X by one and putting that into the formula of Poisson distribution. Similarly, what is the probability of getting exactly two calls? This value over here, right? Similarly, we will calculate the probability of three calls per hour, then four calls up to infinity. Now that we have calculated the values and I have calculated till five, then eight. So the probability of getting one call is equals to 0 0.07. So here I have took 0 0.02 as one measurement. So 0 0.07 lies somewhere here. Then for 2.14, which comes up somewhere here, then 0.19, which is close to 0.2, then for four calls, 0.19 again, then 0.15, which will be somewhere here. Then I have took the probability of getting eight calls. So it will be 0 0.02. So it will be somewhere here, right? So it follows a curve like this. And if you go to infinity, this point zero 0.02 value will get smaller and smaller 
and we can assume after eight calls the probability is reaching a value that is close to zero so we can assume a graph something like that so this is how a poisson distribution graph looks like now we will see some examples that follows poisson distribution the number of emergency calls recorded at a hospital in a day you can see that all conditions are being met the events are absolutely independent you can get one emergency call you can get absolutely zero or you may get a lot of emergency calls right number of potholes in a particular highway hey, see it's a it's a little bit different example because here the interval becomes the length of that highway okay the event remains the same but the interval is different it becomes the length of that highway okay moving on the thefts reported in an area on a day absolutely independent of another event right then customers arriving at a saloon in an hour sometimes you may see there is absolutely no customer and sometimes you may expect a long queue that's absolutely independent of each other this is it in the poison distribution see you in the next video